Hello everybody, my name is Asian Psycho, and we are going to get started on the, uh, I want to say the 65th chapter, but I should really <laughs> get on uh, track with well, how many uh, chapters there, are, there have been but for, so far, but um, I believe this is going to be the 65th chapter of the Exploring the Arsenal series featuring me, Asian Psycho, aka Dose number 98. And if it is incorrect, then the title will say uh, the correct chapter number because um, once I actually input the information for the videos in the description and uh, everything else, um, then uh, only there will it be actually correct, and, like perfectly correct. But um, as of now, uh, as of this recording, I believe it's the 65th chapter uh, because I do remember um, giving the chapter number 64 to the, um, the previous review. I forgot what, what it was on, but regardless, um, life must go on. And yeah. If I do get the uh, chapter wrong, chapter number wrong, then, um, I mean, pfft. I mean, well, that's my problem, I suppose. Anyways, um, so, yeah, uh, the MG42, this will be a review on the MG42 family, um, and there, it's kind of a short chapter, um, it does have a few variants, but, um, it's not like, it's not like the, uh, Scorpion family where every single variant ha also had a Mark II variant, it's nothing like that, but anyways, um, it, there is indeed an MG42 family, so let's get started. The MG42 machine gun. Now, this is a um, this is a literally it's a Nazi German weapon. But um, yeah, there's no 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 there's no really getting around that. Um, it is a World War II era German machine gun, and um, it definitely tore up shit during the um, during that war. People fucking calling it MG42. What 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 did they call the MG42? I know it went by a lot of different nicknames among the American soldiers because it was just a prevalent uh, it was such a prevalent force uh in the battlefield, you know, with the uh with the Germans, you know, digging into their trenches with their MG42s and pretty much blazing anyone else who who dared to go into the light and fire. But um wasn't it called like Hitler's Buzz saw or something like that? I don't even know, but anyways, um, so as pertains to combat arms, it does cost 1200 GP a day and 5880 GP for a week, and um, it does, it does, or it's unlocked at the second rank of second lieutenant 3. Um, the G MG42, for a brief general analysis of the MG42, it's a very fun machine gun just because of how fast it fires, but it's not a very practical machine gun. It's not very powerful. In fact, its damage is pretty much one of the weakest uh, out there of, uh, amongst machine guns. I think only the K3 is weaker, and even then, I feel like the K3 is more powerful than the MG42 for whatever reason. Uh, it could just be me being weird, but I swear to God, I feel like the K3 is uh, more powerful than the uh, than the MG42. 42, it just feels like it. Um, but in any case, uh, as for its stats, the MG42 deals a 41 damage, uh, while the K3 deals a 30, uh, or not 30, that's way too low, um, a 40 damage. So it's only a point higher in terms of damage. So um, yeah, you're not really going to do a lot of damage with MG42. <coughs> Moving on to the damage drop off, I mean it is a machine gun, and in combat arms, uh, machine guns do have a pretty long, um, or it has a pretty consistent uh, damage drop off uh, range um, over or uh, rate at over range. And that's what I meant to say. Um, obviously, if you shoot at people at long range, you're not going to be doing as much damage, of course. But then again, why would you be using a machine for long range? That doesn't make any sense. So just stick to close quarters combat. Uh, moving on to the uh, portability. The portability on the MG42 is at a 33. I mean, generally speaking, all machines are pretty slow, uh, so you don't expect to be running around very fast with the MG42 or any other machine gun for that matter. Uh, as for its rate of fire, here's where the MG42 really shines. It has a very fast rate of fire at of uh, 82. Um, this is pretty much very fast for uh, in the machine gun spectrum aspect anyway. Uh, I believe, like other machine guns, usually range about the high 70s or something like that. So um, the MG42 does stand out above the uh, MG42 or the uh, machine gun crowd in its rate of fire. Accuracy is kind of on the lower side uh, at 57. I believe the... Uh, um, the MK48 should have like 57 or 58 or something like that. I don't, I'm not really too sure, but somewhere around that. Um, so yeah, accuracy isn't necessarily the best, but um, I mean, what well, well, the machine gun is not really too important in terms of just accuracy. But if you want to think of the accuracy as something else, as I tend to do with uh, different gun types, the MG42's accuracy 
um, is not very good. And what I mean by accuracy for machine guns is sort of like what I mean by uh, by the accuracy in like some machine guns, for that matter. Where you know if you you can't really aim down if you can't really aim down scopes with that particular weapon, then the accuracy means the bullet spread. The MG42's bullet spread and uh, or I shouldn't say bullet spread, the bullet pattern, the you know the pattern that the bullets take uh, when you uh, go full auto with it is very unpredictable. It's extremely unpredictable, in fact. So that's one of the main reasons why the MG42 is uh, is really difficult to use for first timers because the bullets just go all over the place that um, you, you can't accurately predict where the bullets will go uh, so unfortunately that's a major downfall for the MG42 as for its recoil, the recoil is pretty hefty in fact it's very hefty actually at 74 I'm not I forgot how bad the recoil is on the MG42 compared to other machine guns but um, in my hands anyway the MG42's recoil is pretty damn bad and um, as for its recoil spread the spread even though it spreads out technically slowly because of its rate of fire that um, that spread will eventually go to get out of hand very quickly so if it had a slower rate of fire then I'm pretty sure the spread wouldn't, uh, wouldn't spread out as badly and as fast as it would but uh, because of it, it does have that 82 rate of fire you're gonna have to control that spread or you're gonna be, have to be you're gonna have to be very mindful of that spread at least uh, maybe you're just one of those guys who just goes fucking Rambo and no no concern whatsoever for the uh, for the condition of human life and just go fucking full auto with your MG42 and just run into short fuse um, <laughs> near the coca cola machine and just spray people down, people down with all headshots across the kill feed but I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be like that but so yeah just uh, make sure you mind your recoil spread it's gonna get out of, get out of hand if you don't if you're not careful as for physical kickback the recoil kickback is also pretty bad um, how I feel the MG42's recoil kickback behaves is that Let's say if you're just standing still, like standing up, and you oh, held down the trigger with the MG42. My honest opinion is that the MG42 feels like it goes straight up for like the first five bullets, so then it kicks really hard uh, right, then left. As I shouldn't say really hard, but it steadily kicks le right, left, right, left. Um, per bullet, it's not really that noticeable, but then again, because of its fast rate of fire, um, it will be amplified. So, um, yeah, you will definitely feel your kickback throwing off your aim at certain times, so you also be careful of that. Overall, the recoil control build on the MG42 is pretty much very, very difficult. I'm not gonna lie, the MG42's recoil, uh, recoil control ability isn't very good compared to other machine guns. Um, so, yeah, you may want to be careful of that, and, um... I mean, just engage people when you can. Pre most preferably, you would wa you want to engage people who aren't looking or who aren't aware of your presence. Or if you have other teammates distracting your enemies, then you can go in and just sp wholesale spray at them and hopefully take a f uh, take a few kills here and there. But um, uh, as for a straight up gunfight, the MG42 is definitely not the machine that you want to have in your hands. So um, unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, moving on to the uh, tap fire ability, I mean it is, it is a machine gun, you will be able to tap fire with it, but I mean what's the point with it? I mean unless you're going to try sniping people at long or middle range, then um, I'm, I suppose that's fine, but I mean that's not what machine guns were meant to be, meant to do. Uh, as for its sprint drawback, the sprint drawback is very slow on the MG42. It's actually slower than most other machine guns, in fact. Well, that's just my personal opinion, but um, you definitely do not want to be caught running around with this thing, because the sprint drawback time is extremely slow, at least it feels like it. So, um, yeah, it's not like other machine guns where um, it feels slow, but in actuality, it's not really that slow. The MG42s is indeed pretty slow so um do make sure to make sure you know you have cover um when you're sprinting around or something like that you know you make you make sure you know that there's no one gonna no one's gonna pop out of nowhere and just spray you in the face so yeah uh as for draw speed the draw speed on the mg42 isn't that bad but it just feels like it takes as all, as long as you would when well, you know taking out your m60 or your mk48 so um as far as draw speed it, it feels faster than other machine guns but don't take my word on it moving on to the center speed the center speed on the mg42 is most like most other machine guns is pretty slow i mean um it is a machine gun so don't expect its crosshairs to snap back like as if it were a FMOS or an fs2000 or something like that so center speed um yeah it's pretty bad i mean it is a machine gun after all 
environment or reload speed. The reload speed on the MG42 is faster than like I don't I, I don't really know. Actually, I wouldn't say it's faster. Um, it's just average, I suppose, average or moderate. So uh, reload speed. I mean, for machine gun and like FPS styles, I suppose it's pretty fast because you know how you have to how long it takes to reload a fucking machine gun in like Call of Duty or something like that. Uh, compared to that, the MG42's reload speed is pretty goddamn fast. But um, I mean, in relation to other machine guns and combat arms, uh, it's pretty run of the mill. For its fire modes, it is only available in one fire mode, and that is fully auto only. Uh, as for its, um, let's see here. As for its luck, the MG42 is a headshot machine. Well, in my opinion, anyway, um, it is like, very lucky so long as you, you know, aim for the upper bo upper body region. Then you can just let your spread do the rest of the work, and hopefully, you can uh, your MG42 will fling a bullet in the direction of your enemy's head and score your lotto. Um, however, because the MG42 is just so impractical, um, I don't really know how effective that will be. So don't try going around uh, trying to lob people with MG42. First of all, they'll probably kick, rage kick you. Second of all, you're probably gonna come back and complain to me saying, Rage is psycho. Asia, you said the MG42 was gonna be a headshot machine. I'm not getting any lottos. Well, I did warn you that the MG42 isn't necessarily the best weapon to go around, you know, blazing people with. So, um, yeah, don't say I didn't warn you. As for its ammo capacity, it is pretty much the same as the other, uh, all most other machine guns anyway, at 100 rounds in, ma in the belt feed magazine and 100 reserve. You got plenty of ammo. Um, as for its key physical characteristics, I mean, if you guys have never seen the MG42 before, then I'm kind of, as a historian and I'm a gun freak, I, I kind of feel sad. So, um, yeah, just go Google search it up, and you'll forever know the iconic image of the MG42. Normally, the MG42 is supposed to have the drum barrel magazine thing uh, attached to it, but I suppose Commodore just gave it the classic belt feed magazine, which I suppose that's good, too. Uh, I mean, I, I suppose that's just me playing too much War at War, even though I haven't really played play much of it at all, and I don't even have the game, I never bought it before, but whatever. Uh, as far as muzzle noise, the muzzle noise on the MG42 is a very low, um, is, it's a very low buzzing noise. It's, it's pretty... Uh, I, I would consider it pretty true to its nickname, if indeed its nickname was Hitler's Buzzsaw, because it really does sound like you're buzzing at someone, I don't know. <laughs> I, it could just be me being weird, but it does have a very low frequency sound. If you're in a room full of other people who are shooting at each other, then you will definitely not hear the uh, MG42's uh, muzzle noise. Uh, attachment options. You can only attach uh, magazine modifications to it because it does have a be uh, belt feed magazine. I mean, round drum barrel magazines can also attach um, magazine modifications too, but the MG42, well, mo with most other uh, machine guns, can only um, attach magazine modifications. Uh, whether or not it's fire team worthy, I mean, it is a machine gun, so you would automatically assume that it's really good for fire team. I would say that the MG42 is one of the worst machine guns you could bring with you into fire team. I'm thinking of cabin fever and a black lung here. Um, the zombies, if you're playing on if you're playing on normal or hard, then yeah, it doesn't really matter. But on extreme, the zombies will have too much HP for your MG42 to really do the amount of damage that you want to be doing to those zombies. 41 damage is not where you want to stand. I mean, you might as well bring. Um, what, what's an assault rifle that deals like 41 damage? You might as well bring like an XM8 or something like that and, and deal with the zombies that way. Don't br even bother bringing the MG42. It's just way too weak and you're not going to be able to knock down zombies fast enough. That's just really my honest opinion and um, you can try it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not going to like the performance of the MG42 against the zombies. As for whether it's quarantine worthy, for quarantine on the other hand, it's pretty good because machine guns, you know, they have a lot of ammo. And if you're like me, who typically likes to camp in like that office and overdoors, so you know, you just typically like to camp in general, and you don't like to free run, and you like to hold down a position with with a couple of machine guns or something like that, and just you know, bullet hose zombies, zombies at bay, or then just bullet hose them away to keep them at bay. <laughs> that rammed. Um, then um, the MG42 is actually a really good weapon because um, it has a very fast rate of fire and um, you can definitely uh, push back zombies uh, really fast and get a lot of shots down range into those zombies you know to ensure that they are knocked back as fast as possible however that being said there are a few disadvantages with this first of all because of its high rate of fire you're going to run out of ammo much more quickly so you have to you know the the the, uh, the worry about you know when do I reload especially if you're by yourself what like when do I reload is going to be another the prevalent worry uh, on your mind as well and um, if you had a slower fire machine gun you may not push back zombies fast enough but at least you won't have to worry as much about you know when do I reload because uh, you know you can conserve your ammo a little bit more easily 
Uh, and also, there is another problem with the MG42 in that its bullets don't seem to kick, uh, like, knock back the z uh, zombies much. Like, you know how in quarantine, if you shoot a zombie with any kind of uh, fire, like, projectile a weapon, like a gun or so of sorts, um, it'll push them back. And um, the MG42, typically speaking, the machine machine guns do knock the zombies back more than they uh, other gun types do. But the MG42 doesn't seem to do that. I suppose Nexon decided that because the MG42 fires so fast, it would be unfair for the machine for the MG42 to be able to knock back zombies at the same rate as other machine guns do. So I, sp I think that's what they were trying to get at. But um, I mean, the MG42 just doesn't do enough uh, good enough job of uh, knocking zombies like really uh, like uh, far far back. I mean, it, I mean. No matter what gun you're using, if you're sp spraying at a zombie, they're co they'll constantly be knocked back so long as they're not crouching. But the MG42, I don't know. It just doesn't. It just doesn't knock them back as much as I would like them to do. As for uh, my frank personal opinions, um, the MG42 is a definitely a fun machine gun. I had a lot of fun with it when they uh, first released it, uh, I think last year or so. And uh, I run around short fuse, bunny hopping with my fem base and lottoing everyone. But um, I mean, I do realize, like I've used it in other games before, I'm done really, really shitty and horrible. And because of that, I do realize that, you know, the MG42, it's got its place. And you really need to confine it in close quarters, but not only close, close quarters, but in situations where you've got your you've got teammate backup and you know you um your teammates are doing most of the offensive work and you can just go around and uh, either give them supporting fire and hopefully uh, sneak in a few kills here and there or you have your uh, teammates distract some people and you can flank them or do whatever you can to take them, take your enemy by surprise and then spray them and then not have to worry about getting shot yourself while you just pour ra rounds down range um to kill your enemies, so that's what I suggest you guys do with MG42. I mean, if you guys want to do a uh, go ramble like I once did and lotto everyone while bunny hopping, then that's fine with me. I'm whatever floats your boat and whatever lets you get you guys uh, kills. But um, yeah, those are my frank personal pins on the MG42. It's an extremely fun machine gun, and if you guys have not checked it out, I highly recommend that you guys do. But do not expect to do well with it on your first game on the get go. Um, it's just not how that. It's that's just not how the MG42 works. It's got its definite downsides, and you need to know them before you use MG42. Otherwise, you're just going to think that the MG42 is a giant piece of shit and Nexon nerfed it so badly over like its real-life counterpart, which is actually really beast. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, and yeah, discipline review on the MG42. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Yukishitetere.